And downstairs. Oh, Chai cellar, I think. Or food. Maybe food. Chicken biryani. Hmm. Not everything is chicken biryani. Whoever's in them rooms hasn't got a view of the palace. Oh. That'll have taken over. What a view. Three on a motorbike. <coughs> Seen lots of fours on a motorbike, haven't we? Yeah, babies. We're still looking for five on a motorbike. So this afternoon, hmm. we're going out mm -hmm. on a tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk, yeah. And we're going to the market, so I'm going to see if I can get myself a leather handbag. Hmm. What are you looking for? Anything in particular? No, nothing. Just nothing. looking. Nothing. We're looking and you're seeing things all the time. Yes, what was it? It was a, a man with no hands. Man with no hands, wasn't they? Asking for money. If this is your sort of holiday and you've ever wanted to come to India, then we highly recommend that you do. It's a really, really friendly place. Everybody is friendly, speaks to you. Everybody wants your, the photograph with you. It's lovely. We were in Kentucky last night, having an Indian meal. <laughs> and uh, this bloke who could hardly speak any English, and, he, and we were just sat upstairs on our own, weren't we? And he was going to the toilet. Yeah. And he, he said, like, welcome to India and all this. Even though he's, it was a struggle for him to speak in English, he still made the effort to come over and talk to us. We hadn't, you know, seen him or anything. He, he, People just wave at you in the street. Yeah. Just wave at you. And smile. And say, hello! Oh. Hello! <laughs> That's probably the only English they know. Hello, how are you? Which is more than what we know in India. Yeah. Namaste. That's, okay. that's about it. I know more. Which is good. We only know a little tiny bit more. Me. Ne means ne. no. Ne. Yeah, chai means tea. Chai is tea. So uh, we probably know about the same. Um. Yep, I've lost. You can't, you can't Sir G. It. Sir G. That's Sir. Uh, yeah, like yeah. Mr. So, yeah, yeah, respectfully. And Madam G. Yes, it's for a lady. Yeah. Danny Val. I don't Danny Val. Thank you. Oh. Danny Val. I was able to sign language to one of the waiters. Uh, yeah, the room, the room uh, cleaner, wasn't it? Yeah. In the last hotel. And I, and I was trying to ask for more tea and coffee. And he saw it go, mm, mm, and he had a sign. Uh, and then he went and got a sign saying, I am deaf and dumb, you know, but if you write down what you want, I can get you. And then Sandra caught his attention and said, Do you sign? And he said, Yeah. And so they were having a little chat in British Sign Language to each other. Asking <laughs> for tea and coffee. Yeah, we got our tea and coffee. We would then. We got lots of. He's coming down the road in you know, with his cart. What's he flogging? Lemons, lemons melons. Uh, Lemons. Lemons. Kiwi or something, I don't know. Oh. We don't want to go home anyway, put it that way. If we didn't have kids and grandkids, we'd be living in India. But oh. unfortunately, the kids need my bank card more than I do, so <laughs> we're going to have to go home. All them flats over there look. Yeah. I mean, they look like they're ready for knocking down, don't they? Falling down. Yeah. One strong bit of wind. I hope nobody minds me joining Rogers Dodgers trips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, don't do that. I'm shy. Yeah. I'm not shy when it comes to dancing. It. Strangers' weddings. Yeah, but that's different. I 
like a bit of music. That dog's waiting for that bloke to finish eating his chicken biryani. Oh yeah. See if he gives him anything. How do you know it's chicken biryani? You don't. You haven't got a clue. We'll have to call it something. Chicken. Biryani. No, just chicken. Oh, he stopped. <coughs> when we were on the motorway, we saw a minibus. And if I say to you, there was 20 people in a six-seater minibus. I'm not exaggerating. The back door was open and one of the guys that couldn't fit in was stood on the exhaust <laughs> holding on to the door. Holding on to the back door. Wait. Down the motorway. The back door open, yeah. And then we saw a poor pig, didn't we? Pig oh. in a, a pig in a tuk-tuk. Yeah, tied up. <coughs> laid across the floor of the tuk-tuk with its head sticking out, looking at the sky. And there was about three or four people in the back of the tuk-tuk with their feet on this pig that was alive. It was tied up, though. And it was on its last journey, if you know what I mean. It's the it's things like that that upset you. And when you see genuine homeless people, not not the ladies that come up to your car saying, my baby hungry, you'll buy milk, because you know that if you give her money for milk, or even if you buy the milk, she takes the milk back to get the money back. It, that's all just scams. But when you see genuinely homeless people, like the man that had no hands, mm. it's so sad. Had he been a thief in, a, in his younger days? Who knows? But it's hard not to give them people money. And today when we were just coming back to the hotel, I saw a man. He had one normal arm, but the other arm was like just that short. Yeah. But he had a hand on it and everything. Yeah, <coughs> yeah but that's just that's just that's a like, deformity. Uh, that's... What do they call it? A thalidomide type of thing. Mm. It's just a birth defect, mm. isn't it? On the cow! What the kind? cow with two feet sticking out of its side. Oh yeah, it had, um, where its shoulder should have been. It had two legs with hooves on, as well as its own four legs. He stood with a priest, wasn't he? Yeah, a yeah, so he was person. trying to collect money, because to them that's probably like a blessing, like because um, a cow is believed to have every single god um, inside it. Yeah. That's why they worship them so much. The dogs there trying to get avoid traffic. Oh, maybe not avoid traffic. Well, the other not, ones just laid in road. Yeah, they're not bothered. Yeah. They're just... See if the other one... Look, see if I can just zoom in and see. It's just, just like that. Just laid in road like, like, they, like they do. Right. Not a caring world. But then again, you find people asleep in the same place, don't you? Just, yeah, just outside that road, there'll be a bundle of rags, and then you realise it's a person asleep. And that could be on a dual, uh, what do they call it? Central reservation of a dual carriage. Yeah. Where, uh, I mean, this is the town centre, but we've been into the poverty areas, because that's what I wanted to do. Um, and it's a real eye opener. You know, when you sat at home and you think, oh, I've got no sugar, or I've got no milk, and you, you know. It's nothing compared to what these people's lives are and the misery that they go through. The variety and the, the different things that can people can carry on a bike, you would never believe it. Ginormous loads, didn't they? I mean, we saw yeah. a bloke this morning carrying about, what, 200 boxes of shoes? Yeah, just on, on a his bicycle. <laughs> They make the po impossible possible. So we've still got another, what, week and a half more? No, that's not hard. Yeah. Taj Mahal was good this morning. The only downer was it was very foggy. So we couldn't see it for the first hour of being there. It was that foggy. You couldn't see the Taj Mahal. So you can imagine how thick it was. Um, this afternoon we're just going to go out for a ride. Tuk tuk. And just... Meet up with local people, we like to, to meet up with people and have conversations with them, find a bit about them and they like to know a bit about us, which isn't very interesting. Um, but yeah, see what today brings, because something different happens every day. So it does. So it does. So we'll make that the end of the video. I'm taking over. So, Sandy and out. <laughs>